cafe now. What the fuck is going on? How y'all doing tonight? Yeah, make some motherfucking noise, y'all. Word up, word up. Hell yeah. Shout out to Zach G5 holding us down on this show. Shout out to all the, all the performers tonight. Big ups to Mo Nichols always holding it down. Shout out to the sound guy in the back. We appreciate it too. Shots to my fans torn up and coming through with the ill interview and the ill film game. Hell yeah. Make some noise for those guys, yo. Yeah. Hell yeah. My name is High Dad. This is my partner in Ryan. You can't see Johnny Way. We are Apollo Sons. We represent Connecticut and hip hop in general. Thank y'all for coming out. No doubt. Monocles will never be ready, dude. Hell yeah. Yeah, sound guy. Just me whenever you need to. I trust you. Trust. What up? My name is High Def. MC Johnny Way. And together we're Apollo Sons. Repping Connecticut, 203, just hip hop in general. I'm from Valley, 203, from Derby, born and raised. Been the Valley basically my whole life. I lived in uh, Bridgeport for pretty much my whole life. Moved towards the Valley up in Shelton, right there at High Def. Basically, been doing this for over 10 years. It's still going. We were both solo artists before, and I was with my boy Sam Addicts for a while. We were on BC Connect, and we did shows and all that, and we actually had Johnny on some of the shows with us. Yeah. It was always like a family thing type deal. We were always cool, always just friends, and we had mutual respect as MCs between us and Johnny, so we were always around, and we tried to collab all together. We had a couple of joints, and then the Apollo Suns thing just came on kind of naturally out of nowhere. We did a couple of tracks together, and the sound was cool, and the vibe was right. We decided to just see where we can go with it. Of course. Yeah, I did stuff with uh, my man Eckage the Invincible, a group called Villains Destroy Cities, also my man Chemical Prophet, MCing with me. And uh, we were doing stuff back in like 03, 04, and that was like a lot of demoing. And uh, we didn't do shows for a while. And like he said, we, we started doing shows and I met these guys and kind of all just came together since. You know, I was always into music. I played a bunch of instruments coming up as a kid, so I just always had a knack for lyrics, and I always love witty lyrics, and if you listen to my shit, you could probably tell by that, that I like to kind of pay tribute and homage to the guys like Lloyd Finesse that were, and Big L that were flipping like funky, crazy wordplay and crazy punchlines, and uh, yeah, basically, I just love music, and uh, I wouldn't even limit myself to a rapper, I'd probably say I'm more of a musician, because I, I just love music in general. Growing up in like the 90s, I feel like, kind of got spoiled with our hip hop and just the culture and everything else that was involved in it. Like it was saying a message, it was saying something. It wasn't just words over a beat. Like they had a message and they had something want to get across and they had like this picture they wanted to paint for you. It was just the whole building of it. I just loved it. And just with the whole beats, like nothing ever moved me like rap music and hip hop as a whole, like the whole culture and all the elements together it was just something that just, it was mind blowing. It was really like a renaissance. It was a movement. It wasn't just some bullshit ass let's make some money and blah da 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 like back in the day you had to be dope you had to be you couldn't be just anybody in your room with the microphone and hit a couple rhymes on the beat and think you're the, the next big dude on the block like you had to you got to pay your dues you had to go through it all you had to you had to be nice otherwise you get on the mic and you're getting booed off and kicked off stage and that was it it's definitely lyrics Mic device annihilator, spit it with a fatal flow You play the show when your homies wouldn't pay to go Unbreakable, the mic will chop into you I got more flavor than Alutiki Vindaloo Yeah, y'all on the carrying gas shit And I be scripting rhymes, I Sumerian tablet shit I'm burying caskets, flow so very disastrous And I'm pulling fly chicks like any Perry with glasses I'm a turn a rapper to a vegetable like broccoli Cause they was fake and I'm official like Ed Hockey Lee Ain't no stopping me Check my style, Johnny Guy. Hey, yo, I give a finger to the game like I be Ronnie Lott. This shit hit like a Scott Smith body shot. Making kids sweat, yo, you bout to get molly whopped. Johnny Plot, bring CT hell. I kick commercial free shit like the EPL. Yeah, make sure it's a Johnny Ray. Yo, I got this. Need a break? Yo, I'm good. Nah, I just had something to say. You got something to say now. 
Motion picture shit, you now witness in the trailer. CT major since the motherfucking whalers. Check the flavor, 90s raised me. Bullshit brought me down, but these rhymes might save me. Ashes to ashes, fuck shit to gravy. Murder this wax with the groove, been out of tune lately. I'm smooth, baby, like Clyde the Glide. But still kill the room like too many fumes of cyanide, let it ride. EHE, the movement is stand still. So much trash in the scene, shit look like a landfill. I'm just a spitter, so Fuck how your pal feel, cause shit can get real like liquor in Advil. Damn, I feel happy when I'm throwing this anvil. The bomb of long ganja in the back of a Honda. Tough rhymes and drama, deadly combination bring the grease to a sauna. Rappers went to death when that pressure gets on. MCs move the crowd, keep pressing shit on. Master left the room, now the lesson is done. Apollo kids you know, still feel like you start it. thinking of hip hop, there's way more elements than just lyrics, there's DJing, there's is uh, graffiti art, it's break dancing. So I mean, if, if you're a hip hop head, you're gonna study all that shit. You're gonna you're gonna you're gonna dig for records and look at for samples, and you're gonna be looking for fire lyrics. Like you're not gonna be like listening for like lame shit on the radio. So I, I would say that basically holding true to the to the craft and, and the old school. And uh, yeah. when I say I feel like MCs were held in a higher regard a couple of years back rather than now you could not really have to say much of anything. Yeah. You could say an album and not say a damn thing and you get respect and you get all this admiration for it. That's just not really what we're really about. A lot of it's lyrics and I don't even sending a message or storytelling, bringing back the art of everything because it's art. Anyway, you want to chop it up, it's definitely art. Right it's like John Connor actually yeah. said. He said actually on his record, he said, "Let's see who can make the most money out of saying absolutely nothing." And that's what it's came to. Like people really aren't saying shit at all. It's like, what's the what's the shit? It's like bubblegum shit. Like my lip gloss is popping. Like it's like <laughs> don't I don't do really that. care about that. <laughs> I want to hear like fierce shit, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And that's that's really all it is. I definitely think a moral technique said it best. Like, yeah. uh, if, you if your message ain't shit, fuck the record you sold. <laughs> and then he said after that, that, if you go platinum, it's got nothing to do with luck. It just means that a million people are stupid as fuck. I see myself as a student, man. I mean, I feel like you should never feel like you really mastered anything. And once you did, you're just being complacent. So I basically try to just get better and hone my craft and skills all the time so i say i'm a student and i always will be basically um i always try to get better and i'm sure the same goes for my man right here. as far as like placement goes i wouldn't really i'll say we're we do things our own way i know everyone says that on my own i do my own thing it's something way different but i feel like we definitely have something together that's really different and unique and i feel like our place really like i think our lyrics kind of sp speak for themselves like we're different. I like to rhyme differently on every track, put different flows. Like, I just love it. And it's like, honestly, a labor of love. And you kind of feel that when we record and the stuff we put out. Like, we're putting a lot into it. Like, we recorded our EP in my bedroom. Like, it probably took us a total of, like, maybe I couldn't tell a couple you days. Hours. So countless <laughs> hours to the point where I'm staring at a screen. There, uh, Thanksgiving, you name it. Like, holidays. Sacrifice. But, like, we love it. So, it wasn't really anything. But it's always room for improvement. Like he said, I feel like I could still be way better than I am. Of course. But at the same time, you got to... I feel like we're... We're dope. I definitely <laughs> say we're dope. Because we're obviously dope, you have to have that mentality like, yo, we're ill. Otherwise, why would you be doing this? <laughs> why would you be rapping if you didn't think you were one of the best? But I do feel like there's always room for improvement. I mean, people don't like our music. That's cool. They don't like us. That's cool, too. Like, to each their own. But I never feel like at the end of the day, we'll definitely have a place in hip-hop somewhere. Friendly competition is probably where it's at. Yeah. So, like, if I hear a verse for like a track that we're working on, and Johnny kicks the verse that you wrote for, I haven't written to it yet. I'll take little key parts of that verse, and I'll hear it and I'll be like, I gotta drop something crazier than that. Like, I feel like friendly competition is always good. Even when I had my man Cymatix as my right hand, we were rhyming together. We constantly just pushed each other. That's how it should be. Yeah, kind of like a team type deal. Yeah, if you're in a group, I mean, you obviously work together, but and, and you're not gonna be dissing each other on songs, obviously, but. You want to be up in your man, because why wouldn't you want to make that song better? You know what I'm saying? We tend to write on our own, and then we'll go over our lyrics, and we'll have things that go together. So we feel 
it's kind of crazy, and you might think I'm a little out there, but I feel like we're definitely telepathically connected, yo. When we write, yo, for real, I know that sounds crazy, but we've had exact bars, you know what I'm saying? Like the eighth bar where we're rhyming something like specific, and I'm like, damn, you're rhyming about a sweated, a, hood, a hooded sweatshirt in the eighth bar, and so am I. Like, I know that sounds stupid, but that's that's some shit right there when you don't plan it. You know what I'm saying? Like, you could turn that into that's a hook real. almost. Like, it's, it's ridiculous. I just loved it. I was just in depth with all the hip hop and just amazed at what they could do. Like, I've been listening to it since forever, since my Walkman to my batteries died, like, at night and just rehearsing verses like Biggie and like, Wu Tang and Big L and Gangstar just over and over and over. Just something about it. And I just started writing. I had to be maybe about 10 years old. I was just in class with my boy and started writing to it. And, that's how it all started. And I was doing poetry and just writing and writing and writing until I was about 17. And I was about 15, 16. First went to the studio and that was it. First time I was hooked. Probably my favorite drug right there, just music in the studio. <laughs> that was it. One time done deal. It was a wrap. A lot of the times when you start a group up and you don't even do music yet, you kind of get ahead of yourself and kind of like almost fill your shoes like way too big. And uh, basically, we were just demoing shit out of this house and there was like no pressure at first because we were just making joints and having a fun time. Like, and uh, I just wanted to rap. That's really what it was. He wanted to rap, and I, uh, I agreed with him, and that's what happened. <laughs> <laughs> The new record uh, is, still doesn't have a title, and we're not sure when it will be out, but uh, well, we're, we're, we're very happy with it already, for sure. Um, all the writing's done, and uh, things are definitely sounding fierce, for sure. I feel like the difference with this one, too, is that uh, the Cole and Connecticut EP, which is beats I found on my computer, yeah. this actual new EP that we're doing is produced all by Cy Maddox, shouts to him. That was my partner, Ryan, with uh, BC Connect. Yeah. He put the mic down and picked up the pads, and... He's never looked back, but he's giving us a lot it's of a, producer, man. a lot of dope shit to really record on. I feel like he captured the vibe of what we want to do. Like he kind of had the whole idea of it all. Like he got what we were trying to come up, what we we're trying to do. We listened to Cold World. He's like, all right, I got, I got a couple beats. I have an, an idea for, and then after that, he kept sending it and getting better and better. Now we have kind of have our own sound thanks to Sai. At first, definitely, like definitely. we had our own kind of formula and what we wanted to do, what we wanted to get across. But with Sai, I feel like he brings like that last element into everything to make it the cohesion that. Apollo Suns is a whole yeah. different sound. It's we have our sound, but we don't at the same time. Because Johnny's really experimental. I'm right field too, but Apollo Suns is us both meeting in the middle. Yeah, so, so it definitely it's a it's a happy medium for sure. Yeah. yeah, it was even like challenging at first. You know, like even some of the beats we were picking, I was like, this isn't normally something I would rock to. You know, on my solo shit, but it was like I said, it was a challenge, and I actually have more fun doing Apollo Suns than my solo stuff now like don't get me wrong i love doing solo shit but like like we were saying before it's, it's competition friendly competition garris is the teacher that's the master like that's that's Fred the Brown dude man? like top shit <laughs> <laughs> that's the homie five that's a.m shout, shout the homie five you should actually edit that in there yeah, you <laughs> should that's, <laughs> that's right. my dude right there with Karis one that is the teacher like he taught me a lot about being an mc not just a master. rapper like he taught me a whole lot how to just rap to a crowd, what to do, kind of how to dress, not how to dress, but like doing things with like little subtle things like dressing in layers and taking them off throughout the set, how to hold a microphone, yeah, how to project to the crowd. Like he teaches you how to be an MC. There's MCs and there's rappers. Not every rapper can be an MC, but MCs can rap. You know what I'm saying? Like, sure. And KRS, that was just like, I've studied him and he taught me a lot. And then just being on stage before him and have him go on and watch him, it kind of just like, it was like the full circle, you know what I mean? It was just it was really dope, it was a dope experience. I'll never forget, probably the best hip hop show I've seen was definitely KRS. ApolloSuns.com, go download the EP. Everything is free on there. Everything's free right now. Yeah. So, cops, so get it now. Friends, <laughs> all that. Um, Listen to the music. Like yeah. we put a lot of heart and soul into it all. It's not just we're not trying to get rich quick or anything stupid like that. I mean, we just love we love hip hop. We love rap. We're trying to add to it. 
I'm not with the whole takeover, all that stuff. Like, we're just trying to contribute what we got. If you like it, cool. If not, that's cool, too. But as long as just you listen to good hip-hop, good rap, yeah. What's enough said. What's so up? you can like us on Facebook. We're Apollo Suns. It's uh, Facebook.com slash Apollo Suns Music. And we're also on Instagram, uh, at Apollo Suns, and uh, uh, Twitter, Apollo Suns Music. And I also want to say that I kind of hope social media dies so I don't ever have to say any of that again. And I think it would also, like, weed out a lot of these uh, stupid motherfuckers, too, that you know, get behind the computer and just type shit all day. But yeah, that's my two cents. Also, Apollo <laughs> Suns, A P O L L O S U N S. Yes. Just to clarify that. Yeah, not Apollo's son. We already took care of him. <laughs> Thank you, you very much. We appreciate you guys fucking coming out here and doing this for us. Yes, that's what I love, man. Area. Live Bands Touring, check it out. Live Bands Touring, motherfucker. Check it out. LiveBandsTouring.com, right? Yeah. Hell yeah. Thank you guys. He said, Peace. Yeah. 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 Yeah